Hey, it's me, Andrea, with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas. Um, we're looking at a Hoodia Parvaflora seedling, and I noticed that I was having some issues with another seedling in the tray. It looked like black sooty mold growing on it, and I was very worried. I have a USB microscope. Um, it's not that powerful, but I busted it out, got a closer look, and sure enough, I saw these little funky larva looking things on there and it turns out they're thrips it's thrips larva and i'm not you know terribly sure exactly which kind but it's definitely a kind that you don't want on your plant um, some of them are you know predatory and beneficial and will eat other mites and other thrips and stuff like that but these guys were just doing a ton of damage not only sucking on the plant but leaving these little nasty drops this like excrement these balls that they just like poop out wherever they want, whenever they want, constantly. And you can see in the bottom left corner, they're so small. They're really impossible to see without some sort of magnification, especially me, I don't have great vision. And then I noticed my Sempervivums and Aeonium were looking super sad, and I was like, maybe they're just summer dormant. Um, but no, I had a closer look, and you can see all those leaves have dropped off. And sure enough, here is the culprit. It is, it looks like a different type of thrips and it might even be a, a more mature type than the others. It's a little bit easier to see and, um, but definitely not doing my plants any good. You can see that there's not really a bunch of that, uh, the, the poop on the plant. So it's a little harder to see. That is actually the Sempervivum. The one before was the Aeonium. Now we're seeing the excretions on there, the black, the darker they are, the older they are. There's a lighter colored excretions, it's newer, which means nearby there's going to be a, a living thrips um, hanging out, just having a good time killing my plants. So I have this, uh, a bottle of Everclear hanging out. Um, we were going to use it as disinfectant if we need to in the absence of rubbing alcohol, but I decided let's just go ahead and see what happens. So, um, I have been treating some of my other plants that I've seen mealybugs on with, and it seems to do the job really well. Now, on the thrips that we're looking at now, they uh, this one it stops moving in just a few seconds, so you know that makes me feel good. I think it's dead. And um, one more thing I wanted to mention is not all thrips are going to do that kind of damage. I think it's mostly the larvae. Um, some adults will actually lay eggs in. Uh, inside the plant like tissue and that's not good um, these guys just seem to be you know they look they're a lot different they're the adults it looks like they're just trying to like get into the flower of one of my cactus and um, maybe get some pollen and um, again I'm not too sure what kind it was but you know I watched them very closely and they seem to be fairly harmless so that's it for this video I just wanted to pop this out there real quick because there's you know a chance this is happening to some of your plants and you're not sure why and you know if you can't see the busters what do you how are you going to treat them so um i'll do a link to a comparable microscope that i have um mine was about 40 bucks i believe or 50 and uh, again they make better quality microscopes out there it's a usb it just plugs into your computer but um i do recommend getting one and just having a closer look at your plants, seeing what's going on on a microscopic level is really gonna blow your mind as to um, all the things happening that you're just, you're unaware of. And at times it will actually help you save your plants. Okay guys, I hope that helps and thank you for watching.